Welcome back, everybody. If you're watching at halftime and or on our YouTube channel, Chris Schumann here with another Owls player profile. It's the sharpshooter, everybody. Justin Gagne joining us. Justin, thanks a lot for giving us some of your time. Thanks for having me. All right, so if these people are anything other than Lakers fans, I, they're, they're going to hate this interview, but I don't care because how rare is it that I get to meet another Lakers fan? There's so few of them in the world. Um, I know you and I both love the Lakers. So, so let's talk a little bit about L.A. I want to ask you as a basketball player, all of this hate that Kobe Bryant has been getting from people who work in, in, in my field, what, what is that when you, when you look at it from the player's perspective, what is that like? Um, well, first off. Uh, it's stupid, right? It's just pure stupidity. Definitely. Um, it's hard to hear um, because I've been a Kobe Bryant fan most of my life and it's just tough to hear like everybody just downplaying his play I think I heard that he was ranked 40th in the league this year like, like that's crazy um yeah, it's it's disappointing but I, I expect him to have a pretty good year who drew you into being a Lakers fan was it uh was it just the fact that they were good or or where you grew up or, or some some other factor like for me it was my uncle um, my dad liked football, but I really got my sports, my love of sports from my uncle, and he was a big Lakers fan. So, so is that a similar story to you, or, or maybe a little bit different? Um, mostly, I just grew up watching highlights of Kobe, Shaq. Um, I watched Kobe and Shaq down in Atlanta uh, when I was younger, and just ever ever since then, I was hooked just on the way they play. It's just, I mean, it's showtime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it sure is. I remember. Um, you know, I, I always liked Charles Barkley um, growing up, so I was rooted for the Suns, but they were never really able to get it. But, but the Lakers were really all that was it for me. And as much as I, and I might be hurting my bottom line here by saying this, as much as I like soccer and football and some of the other sports that, that, that I you know, follow, uh, when it comes to basketball and watching the Lakers, I don't think there's anything better. Now, are you, are you like me? Is it every Sunday night, like, it's it's Lakers? How many games do you watch? Uh, as many as I can. Um, a lot more when I was younger, but um, I try and catch a couple here and there <laughs> nowadays. Well, you're going to find that that's the interesting thing. You're, you're actually busier in college than you will be as an adult. You'll have a little more free time because you don't have homework and, and you won't be practicing unless you're playing somewhere else or, or you know, overseas or something like that. But, um, yeah, you go through that cycle. I remember going through that cycle. I used to watch all the games, then college and early part of my career I was focused on that, and now I get to watch them again because I'm, I'm, I'm home a lot <laughs> now. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. So tell me a little bit about uh, what you think about the uh, makeup, Byron Scott being the head coach and, and all that. Um, I expect him to do a lot more than D'Antoni did. Um, I had high hopes for D'Antoni. Um, he came in. I just, I don't know. It's, I guess it's hopeful for Kobe. Uh, hopefully he has a good relationship with him. Um, that's basically what it is. If you have a good relationship with Kobe, then I think that's, What's gonna flow the team together? Yeah, Kobe really does kind of kind of make the thing go. Looking at the roster, you know who I really like is Julius Randle. You think he can develop into something? Yes, he's a uh, he's gonna be a player for him. Um, I loved watching him in college. Uh, he is definitely has the NBA body, that's for sure. And I bet, and you know, as a player, it's, this is probably really important to you. He has that same mentality of Kobe. He's not like Dwight Howard, like. Yay! I'm gonna smile and have fun. He's got that. He's got that serious, really winning mentality that I think you need to have. Yeah, I really like that. Um, when Dwight, Dwight came, um, it was tough to watch because he was just all out there, just smiles and all that stuff. <laughs> and I take the same approach as Kobe does towards the game. It's more serious. It's more like this is my passion. Like I want to be out here. And I mean, it's nice to see, I guess, Dwight having fun with it. But you want to enjoy what yeah, you do, but yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just. 
it's not Lakers basketball, I don't think. No, and, and but it did add to the drama, which is something I think the Lakers are, are also kind of known for, especially over the last probably 10 years or so. But anyways, Justin, we'll let you go. It'll be curious to see how many people actually watch this interview. But <laughs> thanks a lot for giving us some of your time, and best of luck this year. Thanks, Chris. Justin Gagne, everybody, the next uh, shooting guard for the Lakers after Kobe Bryant retires. So he'll be taking over. <laughs>